Now, when you look at the Republican Party, and this is clearly a moving target, but as of right now, <laughs> is the Republican Party still a MAGA party? Is it still Trump's party? Those are two different questions. Right, those are different questions. Um, I think that there are also different ways to answer it. Are you talking about the party? Are you talking about the elected officials? Are you talking about the establishment? Or are you talking about the voters? Um, and which share of the voters? To start, let's talk about the party and let's talk about what happens in 2024, because of course that's what's gonna matter the most for the direction of the party. Right, I, so here's what I would say is that there are a lot of voters who I talked to who said that if, if Trump, that they'd rather somebody other than Trump be the nominee, but if Trump is the nominee, they'll vote for him. I mean, Bill Barr, the former attorney general who has almost nothing good to say about the, the president he served, um, he said he'd vote for Trump if he was the nominee. There are very few Republicans who would go so far as to say, well, you know, if, you know, de if democracy is on the line, I will vote for a Democrat. There just aren't that many because we are hyper-polarized. And they um, don't believe it anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, like I think that a lot of Republican voters believe that democracy is on the line and that Joe Biden is the problem. Uh, awesome. And they believe it firmly and it, and it shows up in the polls and it shows up in interviews. They're deeply concerned. Um, so I guess what I would say is, um, you know, I think we have to wait and see how things play out. There, there certainly, absolutely certainly, there are large elements of the Republican Party, large elements of the House of Representatives that will be coming in, large elements of the Senate who are very MAGA, whether they are Trump MAGA or not, whether they think Trump makes the right decisions or not, um, the goals and the policies uh, and and even more importantly than that, I think the the sort of brashness and approach and uh, you know lack of um, appreciation for the way things have worked, um, and, and that's not a bad thing from where they come from and where their voters come from. I think there's just a lot of people uh, in the Republican Party who don't see themselves going back um, to you know the nice, polite Mitch McConnell. Bob Dole Republican Party. We are too far down the road to take much solace in saying, okay, you just had a more normalized midterm election. A lot of the election deniers among governors, secretary of state positions didn't win. Now we can take a breath. The, the divisions and the polarization in U.S. politics are going to persist well beyond these midterms. The, the level of, you know, you see the polarization in polls, but then going out and talking to real people, um, it is shocking just how polarized people are, how much suspicion they have for people from the other party, how much they're like, oh, well, I used to be able to vote for someone from the other party, but now I couldn't dare do that, not this cycle. Well, next cycle, it's going to be the same thing. Um, there is a huge amount of polarization. Uh, and and yeah, I I don't exactly know how that gets better. Um, I don't think that polarization gets better just by electing Democrats, even though I think the president seemed to imply that, oh, well, we're on a better course now. We've elected more Democrats. Uh, it wasn't a, a Republican wave. Um, I do think that the lack of success of election deniers means that uh, especially running for secretary of state positions in certain governorships around the country means that the guardrails that held in 2020 will be there again. And, and those guardrails held on by a thread, but those guardrails held. I think one of the more reassuring things about the last week or so is that any number of people who denied the results of the 2020 election have accepted the result of the 2022 election, even when they lost. And that is an encouraging sign for democracy. I mean, this is like one of the most basic core things in elections and, and not something that any of us a few years ago would have thought would even be a concern. But 
people have to concede that's like part of our system. <laughs> so January 6th redux actually looks less likely today than it did a few weeks ago. Certainly with the congressional elections. Now the question is, does, does Donald Trump run again? Does he win? Does he lose? Um, there are a large, not majority, but a large number of Republicans in particular, um, and, and just very pro-Trump people who, you know, would do almost anything that he said.